Welcome back to my channel for today. I have filmed this or created this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so this brown smoky eye red lips. It's my favorite combo. Red lips, brown eyes. These are my favorite colors for makeup. So perfect combination for me. I have these beautiful flowers. That's why where I was inspired for a uh, buy today. I don't know. I need to get used to film again. I've been dead for a week and I have been not filming for three weeks. So I need to get used to it. And I, I also need to like get, I don't know, fix myself, you know? I talked about this on Snapchat. Um, some things are happening in my life and they're just not so nice, but everything will be okay, inshallah. So um, yeah, just wanted to say that. But I promise you guys to be back. And also, um, I'm super, super excited for Ramadan. Ramadan. This is my first Ramadan. So yeah, I'm really excited. But let's just start with this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and let's just start. I haven't been here um, in a month or I haven't filmed videos in a month. So I wanted to film again. I'm going to start with the Morphe 24G palette and I will be going in with this color here. So this color is going on my lid. I'm just going to press it. And by the way, I haven't set the concealer that's on my eye. It's just a not dry. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. So um, I learned this from Daisy from her videos. I don't know her. <laughs> I'm just a fan of her. And um, yeah, she she was talking about this trick, and it makes your shadows um, a lot more a lot more pigmented. I was always scared that it wouldn't blend, but it's actually blending really good. Now I'm going to apply these Lily Lashes in the style Ash Column and I was just looking at them and yesterday I watched a video about what they do to mink, those mink animals. I didn't know that they were called minks. I'm not sure if they are actually called like that but yeah those little animals that they use for lashes. I want to know if this, I, I almost think it is. If this is uh, if this is made by them, not by them, with their hair. I will keep uh, using these, but I will never uh, purchase or get new ones. Because I feel like if I throw them now away, it will be even more sad. They did this for nothing, but I will never buy this again. But I would like to know if you guys know if this is cruelty free. And if you guys know somewhere where I can find, like a website and can find... Um, <clears throat> what brands are cruelty free and what brands are not. I would really like to know that. And now I'm going to start with my face. I feel like I'm like, I could go a little bit more up. Yeah, better. And now I'm going to use this amazing um, oil, argan oil, the liquid gold from Amira. I've been using this almost every day to just moisturize my face. Now I'm going to use this Tarte Amaz Amazonian Clay Foundation. By the way, all the products are in the description box with the links and all of that. It's kind of scary to put makeup on with a hijab or with a scarf in this color. It's just risky, really risky. Now for concealer, I'm going to use this Morphe concealer, which is really good. I wish I had another color. It's kind of yellow on me, but these are so good and so cheap.
Now I'm going to set the face with some loose powder from Modis. Yeah, so I am planning on vlogging. Vlogging die hard. I want to go on trips to other countries and yeah, just go to different cities and show you guys my trips. <laughs> what I do on my trips and where I go shopping. All of that. Taking my friends with me. I'm going to use this new Morphe palette that I just unboxed. It's the Highlight Plus Contour palette. The H, uh, 8H palette. I'm going to use this color. It's called the Poonant. <laughs> I have no idea. No, yeah. This color. This is scary. The struggle makeup with a hijab. Wow, this is really pigmented. I don't know if I now apply it too much. I don't know. I need to do some masks because my skin is not itself. Then with this little Morphe uh, blush trio palette, the pop of the poppy palette, I'm going to use this color. It's I hate saying color names, provocative, hard words lately that they use for colors. And that's really pigmented. <laughs> yeah, all these Morphe palettes are super, super pigmented. I'm going to use this color here to highlight the face. I really would like to have my whole background with flowers. I really love this. I really want to buy more flowers. I hope that the highlights, highlighters are also this pigmented. Oh yes, they are. Do you see that? Wow. I don't know how, but the highlight on this side of my face always looks better than this side it's always better better applied it's always always on a bigger area i don't know maybe you guys don't even see this Also highlighting my inner corner. Now I'm going to clean up my contour line. Going back in with the brown color, I'm going to blend that on my lower lash line. Going to wipe away the bake powder. And I'm spraying some Tarte Rainforest of the Sea spray. Hmm. Oh, this some, does something really good to the skin. Wow. My Ico Brow Gel can never miss this step. Today I have a really good brow day. Now I'm going to try to make an ombre, <coughs> ombre lip. <coughs> Why is my voice doing this? I'm going to try to make a ombre lip with these two colors. Never done this, but I thought it was going to look really good.
And that's it for this look. Why do I always do this? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will be back now. Inshallah, I hope so actually. Um, yeah. I'm working on myself. There are some things happening. But, you know, everything will be okay. Inshallah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry for being away for this long. And I promise you guys to be back with a lot of fun videos. And yeah especially while uh in this ramadan i want to upload like not that much makeup videos but more like food and vlogs ramadan um dedicated videos you know so yeah really excited for that thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.